the cream shadows are i just love them i just started playing with them these are seven shades they are meant to be easy you could use them as a liner or a shadow and there are three different finishes there's a highlighter these are meant whoops these, these lighter shades are meant to be highlighters to really give you that like glow from within look um and you could use them across your whole eye too but that's the intention of them these are some of the shades so just as i go as i go along let me know if you want to see any specifically um, but they are super super easy to use so these are the shades i already swiped them on on the top you see um gleam i think it's the very top then luster is the second which is a little bit more pink tone and the third one is Aura, which is a little bit more tannish in tone. And those are meant to just like give a little highlight or dimension. I'll show you how to use them. Sepia. And then I have Flash right here. It's a little bit more golden. These are very similar, but this is more brownish and Flash is more golden. And then I actually really love Haze. I used to be afraid of that color, but I love it. I could show you how to use it. And um, Prism is the greenish one, also really pretty on. I'll take Flash, and I'm going to take Aura. So I'm going to take those two shades and use one as like more of a highlighter and one as the main shade. So there are a couple of ways to do this. One is you can coat your entire eyelid I'm gonna do it two ways, um, one on each side. So let's see how it goes. Uh, here, I'm gonna coat my entire eyelid really fast and simple. Feels so good on, okay? And you can just take, take your finger. You could use a makeup brush too. I just think using fingers are so easy. You also have the heat of your hand to help them blend. So you can do that and you can leave it at that. Or another option is to take your second lighter shade, the highlighter shade. So again, this is Aura. And you could just dot it on. I'm gonna put it on my hand like a palette so that I don't get a darker shade picking uh, picked up on, on the applicator. And then I'm just gonna do that. And so, and then you just blend it. So easy. Okay, so now another way to do it, let's try this. I am going to now, like, sort of put a little there, paint half of my lid with that color, come in and paint the inner half with the other color and then start blending from the light outward super easy so the key is just to, to start blending with the, from the light outward and i'm not really rubbing i'm more dotting and blending and then if you want to go add if you think like oh i need a little bit more light just go and add it in. So super easy. And then they stay. And I think they're so pretty. Um, and they feel good. And they, I, I just, I just love these. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bold and I'm going to try Prism. I have no idea how this, <laughs> I don't know if, if wearing prism across my whole eye is, is like a good combo for me, but you could do that. Almost like a thick eyeliner. That's kind of cool. Um, and then not, not blend it, just leave it like a thick eyeliner. Another way is just, I'm painting my eyelid. 
and I go in, blend it out. It's like a little bit more of a smoky look. So I'm doing on purpose right now. I'm not, I'm treating my eyes differently. So yes, it's not symmetrical. And then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in with this one, which is Gleam, and add a little highlight. So again, I'm putting it on my hand. You can go directly on your eye. I'm gonna put it on my hand and pick it up, and I'm going right above the dark colored part of my eye and dotting that as like a highlight. And then I'm going to just blend that together. That's pretty. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Uh, and, and I'm thinking, okay, let's see what it looks like if I add a little bit more, I can build it. I'm not gonna add more on the inside because I don't want darkness on the inner side, inner corner of my eye, but on the outer, Yeah, and I'm blending up and out. Yeah, that works. Okay, so now I'm gonna even out the other side. Oops, as you can see, I put more on this side. It's kind of fun. Okay, but um, they are buildable, so you can make them as bold or as um, as subtle as you want. So let's see, now I'm gonna go with Gleam, dot that on the middle. know if like the greens really the best shade for me but I still think it's fun and you can also go in and put that in the corner all of this is building you don't have to do all of this this is just fun and I'm just showing you how you could actually I like it like that Okay, I'm gonna try Haze. I think Haze is really pretty. And let's see, so again, what would it look like if we just lined? Oh no, that's not working. Okay, so I am. Um, But see, what's nice is it wasn't working and then I can just go blend it out. So I think like with the right outfit, if you want a bold eye, that could be pretty. But for me, I'm gonna add a light color in to make it less dramatic. So I'm painting. I'm, I'm pulling it up a little bit. You don't want your eye makeup to go down. So I have a fuzz. Uh, okay, so then you just use your finger or a brush. Okay, right now this looks a little dramatic. I think with, the, with mascara on, it would look really pretty. Um, I'll try this one. Lester as the highlight. So I'm starting on the inside. I feel like if I let the top dry a little bit, then I can go in directly on my eye, but I just, I just don't want to do that yet since these are so new. So I'm still putting it on my hand as a palette. Okay, so I'm just going in on top of what I've already done. 
I like that. Oop. And taking from the inside and moving out. Now I'm just gonna try to even them out. So just a little bit more here. I think I like that. So this is Hayes and Lester. I'm going to go in and just bump the look up a little bit with the liner. Oops. Just a little bit of the liner. Just a little bit. And as I'm doing this, I'm really not going across the top, the entire eyelid. I'm just doing it and from the center out. And always lifting, a little lifting up at the end because you that will help your eyes lift up which we want to do we don't want to drag our faces down okay so i'm just doing that and then now my favorite new mascara is this all in, think big all in one so this is meant to lift lengthen and add volume And what I've found, I've been using the um, mascara for a couple weeks now. I love it because it's not clumpy. It stays on, it doesn't flake. Um, it's been great and it just separates and I think just adds the definition I like. Eye makeup is is a lot of eye makeups are really full of ingredients that are not so good. So, and it's next to an area of your face, it's around an area of your face where um, ingredients can pass through into your system and they've shown that with science. So if you can and you want to prioritize um, shifting your products to be clean, the ones that you use around your eyes, it is a good place to um, choose clean products. I know, you know, it's impossible for us to be perfect all the time, but um, this is a good one. So that's the Think Big All-in-One Mascara. So just real quick, you just literally paint on the cream shadows. This is Haze and blend it in. You could use a brush or your finger. I'm a huge fan of using my finger. I think it's so much easier, so much faster, and it does the job. Obviously, you just have clean hands um, when you do it. So I use that as my base, Haze, and then, and I went in with Luster, which has a bit of a tink, pink tone to it, and with the lighter colors on top of a dark color, I like to dot it onto my hand first as a palette because I don't I just don't want to pick up dark shadow on my beautiful new applicator and so I just am going into the middle and from the corner really start actually you should start with the inner corner when you're adding layering on this brighter shade and Just dot, 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 pat, pat, pat is what I'm doing. I'm not like doing a little bit of smudging, but I'm mostly like doing these mini pats to blend. And there you go. It is so easy. I mean, like I said, these can be like a little mysterious for some. What is that? How do you use it? So fast and easy. And also the... Uh, these are little glass glass vials which can be recycled. The tops are 
post-consumer resin, so they're recycled materials that are have gone into the caps. A lot of makeup cosmetic products are not very easy to recycle at all, so it's amazing that Beauty Counter has done that. Uh, and then I went in, I'm just gonna redo this a little bit with a mini line on top, and, and there you go. What do you think? If, oh, let me, um, if you need any help individually and oh, want to have a one-on-one -on -one class of how to do this or organize a small group, I'm here for that. So always just reach, reach out to me. The top three shades are the highlighters. Uh, first, we have Gleam on the top, Luster, which is what I have on, which is the second one down. And Aura, it's a little bit more tan of a shade, is the third one. Then Sepia. Flash, which is a little more golden bronzy. Aura, no, sorry, Haze. And Prism, Prism is the green one. Should I go in and add a third shade just to see what that's like? Maybe I will. Why not? This is all playing because these are all brand new to me. Okay, so I'm going to go in with sepia and see what that's like. And since this is like darker, I'm going to go in on the corners and try to add a little bit more depth and dimension to this look. And then I'm gonna to go to physical therapy and they're gonna be like, whoa, what were you doing today? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just gonna go here. I probably should have just focused on one eye versus uh, gone to the other. And then pat, pat, pat. I'm trying to keep it in the middle and out. I am blending it. I'm trying not to go too far in past the middle point, past this middle point of my eye because the darker colors will, uh, will set your eyes back and you don't want that. Okay, so Seems like I'm a little bit much right now, but I think if I keep blending this, it's gonna be all good. Yeah, I think that works. And if you wanted to go add a pop of, okay, which one did I, I used Lester before, you can add a pop right in uh, the highlighter right under your eyebrow and that softens and continues to add dimension so this is you know getting into a lot of different like steps for the eyes but and if that's too much for you, that's totally fine. Um, like I said, you can just do this like one, two, and done. But yeah, I like that too. Okay, which highlighter did I use? For this time, this time I used Luster, which is this one right here. It has a tiny bit of pink in it. And so I started out with this combo and then I went in and added This one, um, so I started with Haze as the base, added in Luster as the highlight from the center to the middle, and then I went in for fun, just to see what it'd be like, and added Sepia in the outer corners, which added further dimension. And then um, I'm using the black color outline pencil, simple but good, and the mascara and that's it 
Oh, and also just, I did, before I started, I did, I did fix up my brows with the, um, with the brow pencil that we have in dark. So this is shade dark. So that's it. I hope that helped. Um, so highly recommend and um, I'll keep coming back and showing you more in the future. I just wanted to share how easy it is right now. And let me know if you have any more questions. All right, bye.